All right, but I want you, don't look at the listening yet. I don't want you to look at the listening. I want you to look at what's before the listening and what's after the listening. Very important because what's before the listening is things that you can use here to motivate, possibly. Did this motivate? Yes, yes absolutely. It involved, it also got your student knowledge and it created interest, created interest. It also gives the, op the opportunity of teaching the vocabulary. Now what I want you to do now is look at the pre-listening and the post-listening. Just can you see on so here? So for example, what we could have here, an active listening task is where the students, you never ask students to just listen to a tape. Can you listen now? Because they're all going to go, <laughs> I have to listen to everything. I have to understand every word. But you don't want them to understand every word. You want them to understand a general idea, a general idea. So is there a simple, and this is what we call recognition task, like true-false, um, or um, something, things that they like, or putting something in an order or seek putting or ticking or give, or picking out a wrong word or prediction tasks sports that they like okay ideas which one do you think they they will like look at the picture of the of the just look at the picture of the two uh, of the two people what do you think running okay good so we've got okay what about the pre tasks is there any, any in the pre-task that they have there? Let's go back. What does it teach? Does it teach vocabulary in the first one, number one? Vocabulary, anything else? What do you think? Pronunciation, good, okay. It has pronunciation as well. What about the things after? It's checking comprehension. Checking comprehension. Okay. Do they have to write something? Tick. Just tick. Good. Exactly. That's very important because if you <coughs> write, you can't listen. So something simple to recognize is really, really important. Okay. Now I want you to close your books again. We're going to open it again in a minute. But I want you to do something now that as a teacher is something that you should do all the time. And many teachers don't do it. And that is, we, most teachers will look at the listenings in the book and think, right, okay, that's a listening there. It's got some tasks, or I'll create a quick task for it, and then not actually listen to it. And some listenings are good. Some listenings are terrible and very, very difficult to understand. And it's really, really important for you to hear for yourself what it's like. So before you plan anything, you've planned this far, and you've planned as far as the vocabulary brainstorm, okay? But you haven't, mm, do I need to plan another task? I've looked at the tasks, do I need anything else? Okay, so we're gonna to listen to, we're just gonna to listen to the tape. Because I want you to listen and look at this and see how difficult it is. And see whether it's difficult or easy, but put yourself in the position of being elementary. Alright, what do you think? Was it easy or difficult? It's quite difficult. Okay, now, do you think they could get the answers to this? You have to listen again. Okay, so that looks very, before we did it, did that look easy or difficult? Easy. It looked very easy. But when you actually listened, it wasn't easy. It's quite difficult. When did, when did they mention Pao Bu the first time? 
Right towards the end. Right towards the end. Good. Which which sports do they like? Swimming. Swimming. Good. Yo yong. Yo yong. And lancho. Lancho. Okay. The important thing when you're doing listening is not to get them to give you answers, but to play it again. To give them a chance to hear it, to play it again. But then you can also add another, add another task. And what do you think? As you said, it was they all they have to do is tick. All they have to do is tick. Yes? Yeah. And that's not difficult. No? No. But what to, in order for it to be easier, what do they need to do before you play the tape? Read it. That's right. Make sure they read. Okay? So they're going to read. They'll read together. They'll read and they can talk about the answers. Okay? Now you've only heard it once, haven't you? Can you remember everything? No. 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 Good. Okay. So you are in the same situation as your students. So in pairs, liangaren itu itu to, liangaren itu to. Okay, liangaren itu to. Okay, read and discuss. True, false. True, false. One of the things that you don't want the students to do is to read, because if they read, then they are not, they are getting the answers from a different way. You want to develop their ability to listen and recognize. So what you can do, and what I would suggest you do with your students, is to get them to bring in some post-its, like that. They can stick the post-its over this so they can't see it. That way, they're concentrating on this and not the reading. Because by looking at the reading, then they are not really, they're only half listening. They are only half listening. And we want to really develop their ability to listen and recognize. And one of the things that's very difficult is to listen to lots of different voices, different voices, noises, different contexts. So it really will help to do this. Okay. Are you ready for the second listening? <laughs> yes. All right. Yeah. Now, Did what you, you can it? do, as with with this one, is that you can get some of their answers. So, what do you what do you think about the the first one there? True or false? True. You think that's true? Does everybody think that's true? You forgot. Okay, so what we can do is put that one there. We're not sure. Or we can put a true like that. Um, so if you're not sure, you put a question mark. Okay? Number two. What about number two? You think that's false? Everybody thinks that's false? Okay, well, we'll find out, won't we? What about three? True. Okay. So again, this is another form of prediction, if you like. And you're getting it, and it's motivating them. It's motivating them to listen again to see if they are right, to see if they are right. And it's not so difficult to do. I'm not going to put any more up here because I think you've got the idea of what you do. But it's showing how the book can be interactive, taking it off the page. So we're going to listen again and see if you're right. Did you agree okay. in your group? Right? Yeah? All right. Were there the answers? You go back to this and check. So do we have a definite answer for this one now? Yeah. Yes. Is it true? Yeah. Yes. Good. Okay. So you go through. But whenever there's something where people disagree and you have something like this and something like that, then you can do that. And that gives them a motivating to go back and go back and listen and listen. Okay. So now another difficulty is perhaps the names. Wang Yu. Wang Yu. Is it a girl or a boy? Yeah. A girl. Now they know that beforehand because of what? What did they look at? The picture. Okay. So again, if you cover things like this up with a post-it, they can talk about the picture, and that it helps them with the prediction and motiv motivation for listening. Okay? Exactly. What is important, and I have to keep remembering this, is we've got this here, where you've set a task, which is a recognition task. You've got your prediction <coughs> task using their knowledge, very simple things to focus their listening and focus their attention as they are actually doing the listening because then they are involved and they're not worrying because if they're focused on something simple that they can do, they're not just trying to listen to every single word and that is the most important thing because it's trying to listen to every word that causes panic. It causes real panic. Okay? Right. Now, the important thing is that when you want the answers, 
to do what I did with you. Between the listenings, instead of having just getting answers, we don't want that because we want to know that they've understood, that they've listened and they've understood. So you want them to perhaps check in pairs or groups first to talk, see if they agree or not. And it doesn't matter if they don't agree because they're going to find out. They're going to find out. And that is a key, very important. They listen again or they read again the same thing. So if you're going to do a reading, they do it again.